friend, in this second episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you can tell your parents about your gender status. One of the most difficult things in life for a gender non-conforming person or a transgender person or even an intersex person is coming out to your family. Coming out means like really talking about your original inner self, your gender identity. That is even though you might be born in one gender, you might feel, you might live, you might be of another gender. It could be the opposite gender. So talking to your family, talking to your parents, getting their support is very important for your mental as well as physical health. This will be one of the most important moments in your life when you actually talk about your gender identity, your transgender identity or intersex or gender non-conforming identity to your parents or family is a very crucial moment and you have to make sure that you do it right in a way you prepare them, you talk to them and you make them accept you. Okay, when you have decided to come out to your family, the one of the things that you should do is that make sure one of your family friend or a close friend is with you. That makes it easy for you and that friend might also be a moral support and a strength when you come out to your loved ones. That is one thing. And the second thing is, when you're not actually ready to talk, but yet you wanted to come out to your parents, you can write them a letter. Make sure that your letter is very detailed. The letter has to talk about your past, how you really felt in the born gender, and what is your gender status now, and how you really feel about it. What are the struggles that you go through being identified in a born gender and how the gender that you choose that you are really will give you the ultimate happiness to be in peace and happiness. So that is what is you have to speak to your parents in the letter that you might be writing in detail. The letter can usually be two to three pages. So coming out to your parents will be one of the most difficult tasks. Be prepared that your mother or father might be crying, will be in grief for a few days or even for a number of days. But eventually they will have to accept you. Mostly parents actually will feel confused in grief for many days or even months. To bring confidence in them about you is your duty. That you can easily do. One of the things that you have to do is that make sure you don't discontinue your education at any point of your life. This I will talk to you in a separate episode, why education is important. But as of now, coming out to your family is a difficult part and that can be come over when you have a close friend or a family friend who can be a moral support when you come out to your family. Or you can even write a letter. Or one of the things that you can do is actually you can talk to one of your family members, extended family, and through them you can talk about your gender identity to your parents. It is always better when a family counselor, a professional family counselor, who is more understanding of you, can actually help in you coming out to your family. Sometimes it takes days, sometimes weeks, sometimes even years for your parents to accept you. Sometimes they might never accept you too. There are cases where parents never accept a trans kid. Don't lose hope. Your family is important, but that is not all of that that is important to you. You have a life ahead and live it with hope, live it with a purpose. Some of the other ways that you can actually come out to your parents is 
you can actually give them books on transgender, intersex, or gender non-conforming. Some of the best books that you can give, ask them to read. Also, some genuine documentary films and feature films would also help them to understand oneself. Sometimes you can also sit with your family and watch these movies, read these books. That will also help. Preparing them so that they will accept you is also an important part of family acceptance. Let us hope that our families will accept us. Sometimes families may never do that too. But don't lose hope. A life is always ahead for each and every person. We are born alone, we die alone. So you must be prepared to actually live a life in spite of your parents' support or not. Have hope, have a passion for life, have lots of love for people and for yourself, and you can lead a better life. In the forthcoming episodes, I will talk to you about how you can come out in the school, what are the problems you might face and how you can handle all the problems. Thank you so much.